Hi folks, in this video I'll assemble this card gift set. Keep watching! The first thing we're going to do is assemble the envelope that I've included in this file. You need only fold the score lines. It's all in one piece. So fold the side tabs in. You're going to fold the middle of the card, folding up. And you're going to fold the flap. Once you've folded all your score lines, just apply adhesive or tape runner to the outside tabs and assemble your envelope. I've included a simple thank you card in this file and I've used the same sentiment on the outside of the box. I've left it blank on the inside so you can address it any way you like. I've also included a blank card in the file. If you use that one to create your own, don't forget to also recreate the tag for the outside of the box. So we're going to start assembling the box itself. The first thing we're going to do is prepare the flap that goes on the box. You want to fold the two score lines that are on this flap. And you can see how the flap will fit over the box with a one inch depth. We're going to attach the decorative layer to the outside. I've used a scrapbook paper for this. You can go ahead and use pattern cardstock if you prefer. And now we're ready to assemble the box itself. You want to fold the score lines on the side. You'll see that I've doubled up the flap on the side. I wanted it to be well reinforced. With cardstock, one layer would probably get damaged, 
when you're opening and closing the box all the time. So in order to make it more durable, I've reinforced the side with extra folds. If you don't like them, you can always remove them or just trim them off after you cut the file. I like how durable it makes the box. So you want to add adhesive to the first fold and fold it over. Again, add adhesive to the second fold and fold it over. And when you do this, you'll see that it makes the sides of the box very strong. And you're able to see how the box is shaped once we assemble it. But first, we're going to add the decorative panels to the outside of this box. We'll do the bottom, the fold, and the top of the box. Next, we're going to attach the top of this box. So as you can see, you want to line it up right along that bottom score line. Use adhesive or tape runner, whichever you prefer to work with, and line it up nice and straight.
add adhesive to the bottom sides of the box and then you're going to fold them up and adhere them to the inside of the top. Attach the pattern paper that goes on the sides of the box now that it's assembled. The cards and envelopes fit nicely into this size box. I believe you can fit at least six cards and six envelopes. And finally, we're going to prepare the band that wraps around the box to keep it closed. I'm adding adhesive to the bottom layer and attaching my decorative panel on top. You want to have created a tag to match the cards if you made different cards than I used. I like to fold the band around the box so that I know where to add my tag. I'm folding it and I'm going to add adhesive just to the end on one side. I'll add my tag. And then add adhesive to the second side. and your gift set is ready. I'm sure that someone will love receiving this. It's practical and fun, and you can make them for any occasion. Do some for birthdays, Christmas, Easter, whatever your favorite holiday is. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you'll make some gift sets and post them in Carol's Cricut Crafts group so I can see them. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.